Hey folks, James Brandon here. I have an image here that I want to make a little bit larger for a print. And I wanted to show you perfect resize from On1 and how it can uh, enlarge an image without sacrificing image quality. So I'm gonna go over here with the image already selected and already edited and already ready to go uh, and come down to perfect resize seven. And I will double click that, which will launch the program. And actually, for the sake of showing this program off a little bit, I'm going to max this image out according to On1. On1's website says that we can take any image and enlarge it by up to a thousand percent without sacrificing image quality. So if you look over here on the right hand side, here's where you can enlarge or um, shrink an image to uh, get it to your taste. So you have your width in pixels here, you have your width in inches here and your resolution. So I'm going to take the width in inches and simply add uh, or enlarge this by a thousand percent. So a thousand percent would be about 155 by 103.32. So that will be just fine at 300 resolution. This is going to be a massive, massive image. So it's going to take a while. This is a full resolution image right here at 300 uh, DPI, and it was already at 4,600 pic uh, pixels. So all I have to do here is really hit apply. But real quick, I'll show you some of the other things that you can do with this program, because it's not just resizing. You also have these little drop down menus here where you can add textures, um, which, you know, I haven't really messed around with it too much, but that that is there and it will uh, come along with some presets that you can add. Um, I like to do all my editing in Photoshop, but that is there if you need it. You can add sharpening as well if you need it. Um, I've also usually already do that in, fo in Photoshop is one of my last steps. I'll sharpen it uh, right after I get it right where I need it to be. And uh, film grain, you can add that as well. You can just flip this to on and add film grain. Um, tiling, these are these are getting into some print lab options. So tiling will split this uh, image up into sections and then you can ship or uh, send rather all of those sections over to a printer or a print lab to get sections printed out and you can do um, a tile uh, collage on your wall of that image. And that's a really cool option. As far as gallery wraps go, you can use Perfect Resize to go ahead and get a gallery wrap uh, ready for the printer. So you decide what you want your thickness to be right here. So I'll, you know, two inches is fine for for this. And then you have a method of reflect, and you can use this drop down to do reflect soft or stretch, where it'll kind of stretch the pixels around the edge. And for those of you that don't know what a gallery wrap uh, print is, it's where they take these uh, two inch, in this case, uh, stretcher bars, which is actually a frame, and they take an oversized canvas for that frame and they stretch the image or the canvas around these, these uh, frame or these stretcher bars. So instead of having a frame on the outside, the frame is on the inside of the image and it comes ready to hang on the wall. And it's two inches thick off the wall so the image actually wraps around the sides of it. And it's a really cool effect. But some images work great for gallery wraps and some images don't. So if you wanted to just send this image straight to the printer, they would put the frame inside of it and then wrap the edges around it. And you would have, let's say, from here to here, where my mouse is, wrapped around on all four sides. So the horn would appear at the top, would wrap around the edge, part of the horn here might, and then down here, part of the, uh, the feet might wrap around the edges. But if those are important parts of the frame, then you may not want to do that. So one thing you can do, which I do a lot with my gallery wraps, is I'll go ahead and flip this on, which will update the image. Right, and we're gonna do stretch just to uh, see how that looks. <clears throat> 
and you can see the the wraparound section is really small here but that's because I, I've already increased the size here to, to uh, over a thousand or to a thousand percent but you can see the lines here that signify where the two inch wrap will wrap around the frame here so if you were getting a really big wraparound print done that's what it would look like and you can see that it's stretching around the edge but what I wanted to do since I don't want to lose any of the image to the wraparound effect I'm going to go over to my opacity and select a color and black is already pre-selected so black will be just fine and the opacity is at zero so I'm just going to increase this to a hundred and now you can see it's filled that wraparound section with black and that's a really cool effect if you've never uh, seen it or had it done before it takes the image and puts it right on the canvas but then it creates a black edge around it that will wrap around the frame so that's a that's just one more option so I'm going to turn that off for now because I don't want to do that in this case and since this is ready to go I'm going to hit apply and this is going to take a while this isn't something that you can do in just a matter of seconds and say oh that's a quick program this uh, this program is taking an image and enlarging it by a thousand percent so the best thing to do is to, just to hit apply and go grab a cup of coffee or go have lunch and then uh, come back and it'll all be done for you. So I'm going to hit apply and then I'll speed up the video just to uh, take us back into Photoshop. All right, we are back in Photoshop after resizing this image. And if you look up at my clock up here from before and after, uh, it looks like it took about nine or ten minutes to do that resize. So um, I just kind of surfed the web and got on Google Plus and came back ten minutes later and it was uh, ready to go. It was just finishing up. And this is the image um, in full screen mode, or you know, it's just taking up the full screen here in Photoshop. And you can see that it looks pretty much just like it did before. But if I go up here to uh, image and image size, you can see here that the resolution is at 300 uh, pixels per inch and the width is 155 inches, just as I put into perfect resize. And that's 46,000 pixels wide. Sorry, my hard drive just came undone. And my pixel dimension uh, or size of this image is four gigs. I mean, this is a massive, massive image. And I can uh, zoom in here and get really close and you can see that this still looks incredible. This is resize, This is taking an image that is 15 inches wide and making it 155 images wide. I'm not sure um, if you can grasp quite how amazing that is. I mean, this is creating pixels and creating an image that is larger than it actually is. And it's done this great of a job on it. I mean, it, it's just amazing. And if you look how close I am here, uh, this is only 16.7%. And if I did, uh, if I hit Command 1, that will take me to 100%. And you can see over here on the loop view how small the uh, the square is here. And it's not going to look super, you know, sharp at 100% anymore. But you're not going to stand this close to an image that's 155 inches uh, tall. It's probably going to be on a billboard or on the side of a building somewhere. Um, and you, you know you wouldn't stand this close to it. And if you go uh, if you go to a museum and look at a really large painting, uh, you'll you'll notice the same thing. If you walk up right to it and look at it, um, it's just a bunch of blobs and lines. And only until you stand back from it and look at it really close or, or really you know a little bit far away and, and where you can see the entire thing, that's when you see everything come together and it looks so good. Um, but I can hit Command-0 in Photoshop to go back to full screen. And looking back, this is what it looks like, um, you know, just from before. So uh, Perfect Resize is an incredible program, and I use it pretty much every single time I'm going to send a print or, or a print off to a print lab or a printer because I want it to be the perfect size for that image or for that print that I'm having made. And I don't want there to be any question in my mind about whether or not they had to enlarge that on their own to get the print made. So I uh, hope you learned a bit about this program, and it is a great weapon to have in your bag. Thanks for watching.